Uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for, uh, and for, for this event. Uh, my name is Ahmed Kazemi. I'm a PhD candidate at RMIT University. So today I'm going to briefly discuss about uh, some aspects of uh, answering qualitative geospatial questions using spatial reasoning. So some sort of bit of uh, introductory. Um, so as you know, we have uh, several commercial search engines like Google, Microsoft, and so on, and they could answer to any type of question. And they are widely used in um, daily life in between people. And but the main weakness of this system, they cannot answer, or they have shown poor performance for answering geographical questions. Uh, here are two examples of qualitative geospatial questions for two different types on Google and Microsoft Bing. As, uh, and as it shows, they have um, they failed to answer to this question correctly. So this is um, the, the first uh, motivation of conducting this research by focusing on qualitative spatial reasoning. So the main reason and the main focus here why we focus here on qualitative spatial reasoning as opposed to quantitative one. Uh, there are three reasons. Uh, there are three reasons for doing that. First of all, it is simpler. Uh, qualitative qualities are simpler than quantities, uh, like tall versus 1.93 meters. And uh, second, they can obtain from quantities. And finally, they correspond to discontinuities. So in general, uh, human sense uh, understanding of space is more connected with qualitative spatial reasoning uh, as opposed to quantitative one. So here are some examples to give some sort of uh, uh, about the qualitative reasoning concept. So by having some uh, inf uh, factual information, like if we know A is north of B and B is north of C, then we could infer that A is absolutely north of C. But in some cases, this relation between two objects, let's say A and C, could be more than one. For example, if A is northeast of B and B is northwest of C, in this case, A could be northeast, northwest, and north of C based on the position of C, uh, a different position of C with respect to B. So uh, the interesting part here for us was how could we answer natural quality to a special question using deductive reasoning? And this question came, we came across this question from the Nexus project, uh, and uh, the, which is uh, the ongoing project in, at our research group. And based on that, we came across with this methodology, which has three steps. In the first one, we need to analyze this question based on the geoparcel tool. Then the, uh, the, the extracted entities from the question should and based on the evidence database, the reasoning component make inferences over question, and finally answers are extracted by post-processing of these questions. So our mission in, in this work is to develop such a system for answering this question. We use case of the system by uh, considering the practical implication of the work, and most importantly, how could we improve the relevant work within this scope and what makes this research distinct from the other. Thank you so much. This is a very, uh, thank you so much for this uh, question. Uh, this is um, a very good question and it, it is uh, the question that we try to end address that. In fact, at this stage, this is uh, somehow six months of a study. At this stage, we are currently working more on synthetic data sets and we are trying to, to address this question. So there is not a very specific answer for that. But um, I guess uh, there at least uh, there, there are some use cases for, for doing that, but I'm not sure what this is say. So yeah, so this is also our question as I mentioned in the last slide. So yeah.